Action Committee. And so Dave, if you wanna take the floor and walk us through the, the CR and then we can move forward. Sure, thanks very much. So I promise you all a quick meeting and I think we can do that with Erin's help. Um, I'm not sure if she shared a packet with you for this meeting or not, but um, in short, the, and, and Aaron, maybe, can you share a screen so folks can see? Hmm. Is that the, hmm. I wondered, I was hoping there would be a, a more illustrative kind of the, the, is there a color image that showed, you know, the context for this donation, I think in, in the CR? While you're looking for that, maybe I can. Um, I that was can the only. That was the only map um, that I had the stamped plan set. I believe. I think I sent you the um, baseline report. Does that ring a bell? I sent you like four docs. But anyway, very quickly, uh, while Aaron is looking for that, um, the Kestrel Trust is working to preserve more land up on the Mount Holyoke Range in 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 the towns uh, that the range. Uh, occurs in, and uh, they have been working for over a year with the Allison family, and the Allison family owns a house uh, south of Bay Road up on the Mount Holyoke Range, and Kestrel has negotiated with them to accept about a seven-acre gift of land, which abuts the Sweet Alice Conservation Area. Um, if you go to the double roundabout and you head east toward Belchertown, the Sweet Alice uh, Conservation Area is the big open field. Um, it includes the power lines uh, on the right-hand side of Bay Road. And this parcel is about seven acres looking due south. And we can look at a couple of maps here in a minute. So Kestrel is um, getting this gift from the Allison family. The Allison family will keep a, uh, they already own a house up there. They built a house there many years ago. They're keeping the house, but they're willing to donate seven acres of, um, uh, upland forest and uh, field to Kestrel and Kestrel would like to donate it to us to add seven acres to the uh, about 90 acre uh, Sweet Alice uh, conservation area. So let's see, deed acceptance. That might be it there. Oh, maybe I missed one of them. Mm. Let's see if there's a better map. If not, we can go back to the black and white map, but I was hoping we... This is the survey. Maybe we'll go to the survey. The survey is a little okay. better. Let's use the survey. I mean, this is, I think it's the same one. Okay, can you enlarge that? So Aaron, maybe you can use, I, I can't use the cur your cursor, right? Or you can't um, my cursor. Maybe you can point to, if we start on the west, the west side, which is my left-hand side of my computer, we have the Epstein, yes, Epstein is there. The Epstein house is there. All around the Epstein house, we, we own the, the acreage around the Epstein house and bought that a year or two ago. And then as you move east, the Allisons will retain the next lot. If you move your cursor just to the east there, and you can see their house on the southern end of that lot or two thirds of the way right there. And then they are donating this flag lot, um, which is right there to the town and to the east of that, to the, my right is all Sweet Alice Conservation Area. So essentially they're donating that flag lot to provide buffer uh, more buffer for the Sweet Alice uh, Conservation Area. It includes a small ravine, a small stream, um, and of course a small frontage, um, additional frontage off of uh, Bay Road. And they'd like to donate this seven acres to us to be under the care and control of, of the Amherst Conservation uh, Commission and then be added to Sweet Alice Conservation Area. So um, that's uh, the long and short of it. Um, the upfront cost to us is zero. Um, I think the long-term management are that we'd added to Sweet Alice. I think there's some beautiful upland forest there. 
I don't think we need to add any trails to it. There's already a uh, existing trail network out there. So really it's kind of a, a situation where it's a nice buffer for the house and for us uh, with our conservation land and then let the trees grow and let nature do its thing. Um, there's not many invasives up there. So I don't see a lot of management demand for the seven acres uh, on the town. Are there any questions? Seems pretty straightforward and seems like a win-win to me. I, I will point out, and maybe Aaron can show us the line, um, that the cross-hatched line is actually an already existing conservation restriction there held by the Commonwealth. So mm -hmm. a good, I don't know, is that a half of the parcel is already preserved through a conservation restriction that was deeded to the Commonwealth many years ago. Um, so this is kind of a double protection. We would now own it in fee and that first half of the property or close to half of it, 40% is already protected by conservation restriction held by the Commonwealth. So the Commonwealth will essentially have a CR over 40% of our parcel, the town's parcel. And so Dave, so Dave little, little... <laughs> yep, go ahead. You go, Brent. Uh, Dave, is there a little cutout there so that the road remains completely with um, the current landowner? Yes. So that part yes. is that part stays over. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yep. So I have two questions. Um, yep. One is that are you doing any changes to like the parking situation there? I, I mean, there's the two kind of pull-offs on the side of the road. Or, or is that you think going to suffice for this? Oh, um, on the Sweet Alice property. Yeah, on Sweet Alice, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, that's a really good question, Anna. Um, no, as part of the Epstein project uh, that we did a couple of years ago, um, there, are, there, there was clearly an intent and we articulated an intent working through the commission, the CPAC, and at that time, I guess that was town meeting at that time. I can't remember whether we'd switched over. I think it was town meeting. Um, there was definitely uh, 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 an intent to do a nicer parking area off of Bay Road. And by nicer, I just mean, you know, we, we're, we're trying to move toward a consistent, welcoming presence when you get out of your car or get off your bike or are hiking to one of our conservation areas. We want there to be kind of an arrival like, like you, you see at the Trustees of Reservations or Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So we would do probably, you know, our standard kind of split rail fence, uh, crushed stone parking area. Um, we're trying to revamp, um, as I've reported to you, we did get some new kiosks uh, through CP using CPA money as well as some COVID, uh, COVID money. So um, we have those in storage and I think uh, that's gonna be one of Erin's projects is she's already begun working on crafting, um, laying out um, kind of a standard kiosk for the town that would of course get input from you all before uh, it sees the light of day. Um, but we would have a consistent presence on all of our kiosks with map, um, you know, recent sightings, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera, rules and regulations. But yeah, so that's the long answer. Yes, we want to have a better okay. presence on Bay Road because it's pretty subtle there now. Yeah, that's, yeah. I know a lot of people, I think, run at Sweet Alice. There's usually a lot of cars there in the morning and I wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, there, was there another question? Brett, did you have a question? Nope, I made my comment okay. or I had my question. So I'm good, Dave. Um, and I will say there is uh, money in the, we still have money in the CPA account for Epstein. Uh, and we saw, you know, we even though we call these different conservation areas, I mean, they're all one block, if you will. So as Aaron and I begin to look at these, you know, we, we may suggest as, of course, as part of the management plans that these be, you know, management blocks. I mean, you're not going to, you're not going to manage Epstein any different than Sweet Alice, even though there's a name, you know, there, there may be areas within them that you, you focus on early successional or, or cold water fisheries or whatever you might do. But the management plan will speak to this area of the South, what is this kind of the South, um, Southwest corner or you know, 
south uh, part of town. So there is money in the CPA account to help pay for uh, signage and welcoming and trails. Uh, so, so I think I'll stop there. It's, it's um, I think in the packet, there is uh, an acceptance by conservation commission. Somebody could, maybe Aaron could punch that up. Um, if you have that last doc I sent you, I think today that Sharin sent uh, with a new acceptance. I think somebody could, we could read this and somebody could simply move that as a motion. I just want to make sure, Aaron, is that, is that the, that doesn't look like the last one I sent you. Is there one I sent you today? I think I overwrote it, but I'll double check. The reason is uh, Sharin changed it because of the e-signatures. Sharin Everett is our town council, our town attorney, I'm sorry. Um, you can I ask a quick, quick question while Aaron uh, yep. looks for it? Um, I was just wondering, is there any plan to update the um, town trail map that you can download as a PDF online because I have a habit of print getting them printed for people. Um, I would love them to be updated. <laughs> but I can help. Yes, so that's the one, Erin. So yes, um, that's a great question. Um, absolutely, we are, I think we've been moving so quickly and, and since making some of these staff changes, um, I started to make a list for Erin. She hasn't seen it yet because I didn't want to kind of overwhelm her, but that is one of the things that um, I, I want her to work on is updating the trail map and the, um, we've talked about it a little bit to make our, 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 our conservation map more interactive, more useful. It's pretty blah right now, to be honest. Um, it, 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 it identifies things, but it just, it doesn't pop online or in your hand. That's just my take. Yeah. yeah, I have a I lot mean, of ideas. Probably, yeah, I mean, there are probably a lot of really cool ways we could update it, but also just getting the GIS like PDF updated in the short term too, because frankly, I just like having it on my basement door. <laughs> like, yeah. I need it to be wicked fancy, and it's nice to be able to give it to people when they move to town. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think, that's I think we're a little behind in terms of our acquisitions, getting the new acquisitions on the map. Well, you guys move so quickly. I mean, it's not, there's no fault in it. I was just daring to ask. A really good no reminder. And Erin, you and I talked about this like a week ago, right? Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of ideas to improve it, including adding parking to it, because right now that existing, it's wonderful that it has trails and some properties, but it doesn't show where you can park if you're accessing it. Does, it does, but it's not updated. So it does okay. have a little P for parking, but it's it's a little out of date. So like, sure, certainly if you need to know if you can park nearby, it wouldn't be the best reason. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, as an example, and I think I've raised this before, and Aaron and I talked about it briefly. There are, I believe there are seven six or seven access points to the Mount Holyoke Range on Bay Road. And I bet the average Amherst resident does not know that there are six or seven. I don't even know the number, but it's either six or seven. I'd have to, I haven't looked at it in a couple of weeks, but- I've it probably would, only yeah. discovered them by getting lost. Yeah, so. So Brett, um, I think, I think really what we're looking for in terms of emotion is right here on the table, mm -hmm. uh, right here on the screen, I'm sorry. Um, for an acceptance of this uh, seven acre piece of property. Okay, so if somebody could just read through yeah. those first two paragraphs, Dave, will be good. I can do it. Um, okay, acceptance by the Conservation Commission on this 17th day of September 2020, the town of Amherst, acting by and through its Conservation Commission, pursuant to the authority granted by GL uh, Chapter 40, Section 8C. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hereby accepts the property located on Bay Road, Amherst, from Kestrel Land Trust, Amherst, for open space purposes under the provisions of GL Chapter 40, Section 8C. Pursuant to the vote taken by the Amherst Conservation Commission on May 13, 2020, the following signatures are made in accordance with GL Chapter 110G and pursuant to said commission's electronic signature authorization vote recorded on June 17, 2020, with the Hampshire Registry of Deeds in book. 
113,665, page 246. So moved. Looking for a second. 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 Oh, I tried. Okay. So <laughs> voice vote, Laura. Aye. Anna. Aye. Larry. Aye. Jen. Aye. Leroy. Aye. And aye for me as well. So, yeah, anything, new else, so anything else, Dave or Aaron, that we need to do on this one? Uh, I don't think so, Aaron. Maybe you and I. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm not that familiar with East Signature, so we'll just have to work with Sharin tomorrow um, on whatever she needs for the closing. So. Yeah, I've been using them for DEP permits, and they've mm -hmm. it's worked out really well. So um, I can do the same process that I do for those, and then um, if Sharin needs something different, then okay, yes, we'll go from there. Good. I think the only other thing, Brett, um, that that Aaron had put on this agenda since we were meeting for a few minutes was if we needed to discuss the CPAC um, liaison role at all. Unfortunately, uh, the one person who we need for that discussion is not here. Fletcher um, emailed me um, okay. asking, saying that he would like to not do it for the next term. Um, and so I will reiterate my interest. I'm happy to do it. Um, Dave, thank you for your email. It did make me feel a lot better. I think my, my concern is just, you know, my areas of interest and expertise are not in wetland identification. And I... Um, you know, kind of got a little caught up in that until I looked into deeper, uh, the deeper aspects of what the CPA does and realized like, that's actually kind of squarely in the part that I am interested in. So mm -hmm. um, I'm, I am happy to do it. And um, also, if someone else has a, a burning passion and desire to do it, I'm happy to step back. So um, <laughs> either way. Fantastic, Anna. Thank you. And so as Anna was suggesting, is there anybody else who would like to Put their name in the ring? No. <laughs> okay. So I am hearing none. And so Dave, I think we need a official vote on this. Yeah, it'd be great if you if somebody nominated Anna and then seconded and then you all could vote <laughs> to be be the liaison to CPAC. Uh, I nominate Anna to be the liaison for the what what's it called? A community preservation yeah. act committee the Community Preservation Ag Committee. With gusto, I, I nominate her. <laughs> I, I second with gusto. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. So okay, sweet. so voice vote. So Leroy? Aye. Uh, Jen? Aye. Larry? Aye. Laura? Aye. Anna? Aye. <laughs> That's good. I can't wait to hear about it. And so I for me as well. So thank you, Anna, and congratulations. And yeah, you get to Thanks, put it's some cool stuff you get to do. And I mean, the conservation yeah. stuff is cool, but it's all sorts of interesting things. Yeah, yeah can, I just, can I just say, I mean, thank you so much, Anna, for stepping up. And Brett has done a wonderful job all these years. Uh, and, Fletcher. and again, Fletcher. Fletcher. Uh, Fletcher. What did I say, Brett? Yeah, thank you, but yeah. I've done I mean, Brett's done a great job. a wonderful <laughs> job, Brett. <laughs> it's not even that late. And I'm already <laughs> um, no, Fletcher has done a great job all these years, and it really is an opportunity. You are, you're an advocate for the conservation open space side of it, but balance is so important. I mean, all of these needs, historic preservation, affordable housing, um, recreation and conservation, they're all part of what makes a community uh, wonderful. So you know, I think you'll bring a lot of balance as he did. And, and it's not about voting against, you know, some other project. It's about honestly looking at the proposals, seeing how well they're put together. Are there matching funds? Have they been well thought through? And it's a really collaborative group. So it's, it's not really adversarial, you know, you're getting so much money, you're not or whatever. It's none of that. But um, it's a great, you know, there's roughly a million dollars almost every year that can be divvied up between the uh, four the four areas of, of focus. So thank you for volunteering. Thanks for all your votes, y'all. Appreciate it. <laughs> What's your name? Try to get us more land. We'll see if she's still What's thanking us in December. <laughs> and I will. Uh, I read one, one last article thing. about the library, and I was scared. That was what threw me. 
<laughs> I will say, Anna, that you know our work on the uh, dog park task force will be yeah. slowing down. In fact, um, construction started out there this week. Um, things are things are yeah. moving. So, great. Yep. Yeah. Thank you all. Excellent. All right. So, any other business for today? No, not for me. Okay, not hearing any. Looking for a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Second. Leroy, how do you vote? Aye. Jen? Aye. Larry? Aye. Laura? Aye. Anna? Aye. And I for me as well. We are done in 22 minutes. So thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Be safe. <laughs>